Nice to see some of you back near your little houses out of the forest and the be off the beaches. And nice to see Flo back with David in the deep south. So we're going to do a bit of kidney work this evening and also some work on the lungs. But we're going to start off standing. So standing in your Qigong posture, just settling into being here. Feeling your feet on the ground, soft knees, drop tailbone, soft shoulders, chin tucked in, head lifted up, tailbone drop down. And just close your eyes for a couple of seconds and notice where you're starting from, just very, very lightly, just coming into being here. Okay, so we're going to start off with some breathing. In Chinese medicine, the lungs are the commander of the qi. So the better we breathe, the more qi we bring into our body. So we're going to start off with breathing into the belly because we get about a liter of air in every breath instead of a little cup of air into the top. So pop your hands over your lower dantian just below the navel and breathe into this area through the nose and breathe out through the nose. So belly expanding as you breathe in and the belly button going back towards the spine as you breathe out, but nice and relaxed. And we're going to do a slightly different technique with the breathing. So we're going to hold as, as if you're, you're blowing into a balloon here. So hands facing the belly there. And as you breathe in, expand your hands as the breath expands the belly. And as you breathe out, let your hands come a little bit closer in. Just try that in your own time. So breathing in is active, breathing out is relaxation. Soft bend in the knees. And slowly see if this long, slow and deep breath, if you can breathe in for six and breathe out for six, but don't strain if you can't do that. Just breathe in for five and breathe out for five. Find what works for your body. Noticing as you're breathing how your belly expands and then softly goes back towards the spine. Now we're going to keep breathing the same way, but as we breathe in, pop your hands on two little tiger heads in front here. As you breathe in, feel your spine get longer and you just breathe out, just let everything relax. So breathe in, feel that your spine's getting longer as you breathe in. Breathe out, relax. Try and do that with the five or the six count as well. So you can slightly move your hands as you breathe in. They come up just a tiny bit. Feel your spine getting longer. So 
So this is very good to get the air in, get the chi into your body. And it's really, really good for relaxing your mind. And relax and hands down into holding the ball. And we're going to do the lung flow of holding up the sky. There we go. So again, in and out through your nose. Let's try and stay with maybe a five in. And a five out through the nose. Breathing in and out through the nose, strengthening the lungs. You may feel that you're building up a little bit of tingling into your fingers, you're getting lots of oxygen in. This time as you come to the top, push mountain, hold sky. And as you change, bend your knees. Push mountain, hold sky, come up straight. Little fingers spiraling past each other. So that's an in breath, out breath. Try and stay with that five, five rhythm. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, another two, breathing in, breathing out, come to just in front of your face. Open your legs a little bit here, and now we're going to take a breath in, and as we breathe out, pushing across your face and behind your back, and turn to look behind you as you breathe out. Come back to center, breathe in. Turn and breathe out, look behind your shoulder. You're wringing out the last bit of old air in the base of the lungs, breathing in. Again, the five, five. Squeeze that last bit of air out. One more. And come back to center and just move your arms and legs a little bit. Good. Okay, in case you've got anything to let go of, physical, mental, emotional, we're going to ask the animal related to the lungs, the tiger, to help us clear. So tiger clears away. Tiger, remember, representing strength, courage, and inspiration. And when we're a little bit unhappy and sad, um, the lung is a little bit overcome with um, depression and sadness okay so the opposite to that is inspiration so let's go with that <coughs> just dropping any heaviness in the lungs heaviness in the um <coughs> that may be in our emotions here so tiger clears the way <sighs> got little claws <sighs> in your hands <sighs> fingers just curling around the palm 
Take breath out through your mouth. And feel your space, feel your Wei Chi, and target into the grass. Back of the hands together to come up and just get rid of the last little bit of grayness in the lungs, grayness in your emotions, breathing in, allowing for new insight, new inspiration to come through. Got to make space for it. One more. Ooh. Okay, so Tiger having cleared the way, needing to work on inspiration. Sometimes we've still got stuff to get through. So let's talk about Tiger piercing the veil. So one foot is going to go forwards. Hands are going to come up and move your foot around so that you're going to be able to do a backwards and forward lunge comfortably. You might want to be closer or further away. Hands facing away from you, called tiger piercing the veil. Coming forwards, bend your knee. Back, weight onto the back leg. That's an in-breath as you come up. Breathe out as you go down. In and out through the nose. Slowly shifting your weight, change the angle of your feet so that your knees feel comfortable when you do this. Thinking of the tiger being nocturnal, maybe coming through the dark night, needing to find his way, maybe through the mist, taking courage and strength to move forwards. And if your knees don't feel happy, just let your legs be a little bit straighter there, just staying in your comfort zone. Watching your hands as they move. Very good for your eyes to follow movement, to track the movement. And you can be sure that tiger is very, very scrutinous in watching the territory that is moving through. Other foot back, turn to the other side. Foot forwards, weight onto the knee, find a space that works for you there. And forwards, bend your knee, straighten your leg as you come back. Breathing out, breathing in, in and out through the nose. Being alert, feeling yourself alert, moving through the forest, the mountains. And relax. All right, so staying with the lungs, we're going to knock up and down on either side of the sternum or your breastbone. This is really good for the lungs. It's very good to clear emotion or stuckness that often sticks in this area above your heart here as well. But also we're knocking up and down the kidney meridian which ends just below your clavicle here. And the little acupuncture points are in between each of the ribs here. Kidney meridian coming up from the feet. 
So remember, the kidney is looking after water metabolism. And one of the connections of the lungs, of course, you breathe in oxygen. And what do we breathe out? We breathe out water vapor with that out breath. So acknowledging the connection between the kidneys and the lungs. The same time you're going to be mobilizing the little joints along the sternum where the ribs join in and maybe just pop your fingers into the little intercostal muscles in between each of the ribs and if anything is a little bit tight or tender just soften them so when we're a little bit uptight these intercostal muscles will tighten and if our shoulders have been forwards with our with our sadness, then they'll be a little bit shortened as well. So this is also very good to just loosen them up so you can get a nice expansion through the ribs and the rib cage. All the way down. Right, bring your hand into a little shoulder and this, that little hollow just below the clavicle before your shoulder comes out. A little bit of massage there, massaging over your lung one and two points. Also matching, massaging over your pectoral minor, which pulls your shoulder forwards. A nice little knock there and then a little feeding up of the flow of chi through the lung meridian there. Remember the lung is in charge of the immunity of the body. So if you're getting coughs and colds and things, you want to work on the lung meridian to build up your immunity. And we didn't talk about wei chi or wei chi is your protective immunity around your body. So like when you worked with tiger and we felt this is the sort of Surrounding way chi around our body. Down. Knock it a little bit. Down. One more. And down and relax. So we said kidneys and lungs. So let's do one from the April case for the kidneys. So two hands climb the legs to strengthen the kidneys. So we're starting off holding just under the toes. We will be touching our babbling spring, kidney one. So starting down here, hands just past the little hard part of the foot in front of the toes. Just drop your head there for a few seconds. And then slowly coming up the inside of the legs, coming up the kidney meridian all the way up to the clavicle and then reaching up to the sky. So we've come from the water and the earth element down there, and now we're coming up into the air, the yang, the universe, and we're bringing down that energy to the kidneys over here. Rub it in. Kidneys are affected by cold, also by fear. And then down the bladder meridian, the back of the legs, to connect with the kidney meridian coming up and stretching up to the sky. Feel as if you're a little antenna to bring that energy in from the stars and the blue sky. Down it comes, bringing it down. Behind to your kidneys, rubbing it in the kidneys here. Then all the way down the back of the legs. And bend your knees as you do that. Up front of the kidney meridian. Up to the sky. Coming down, pulling that chi down. Or chi inside us and chi outside us. Rubbing your kidneys. And all the way down the back of the legs. And up you come, and we'll just stop with the belly there. 
and relax. So the kidney is one of our internal organs. So the lungs and the spleen and the liver. And one of the nice ways to ensure that everything is healthy is to do a practice called swimming dragon. So let's open your legs a bit wider there. Sink down if you can, if you can't just stay up here, but if you can sit down rather than lean forwards. So sitting down a little bit, hands together, and we'll start just transferring weight from side to side, feeling how one leg becomes full, one leg is a little bit empty. Sinking down. As you sink down, feel that you're sinking through your hips as well, not just your a bend of the knee. So when you think of your hip sinking, it gives you an easier bend through the knees. And you're wanting to get a little bit of stretch through your adductors and the inner leg there. Right, so as you go to one side, hands go to the other side, head goes with your hips center. Head and hips together, hands to the other side. Breathing into one side, breathing out to the other. So as we're doing this, we're moving all the organs relative to each other, but also putting on compression and then allowing them to bounce back and give a bit of a stretch. So we're helping them to actually pump. We're helping the organs to improve their function you know because a lot of the time people are sitting and nothing is moving at all and these organs need to bring fresh blood in old blood out do all their functions the liver alone is said to do about 500 different functions for our body so it's like taking your organs for a walk can you do this? Up the mountain, down the mountain, keeping everything soft and flexible. This is one of the most healthy exercises you can do for the wellness of your internal organs. To try and get a little bit of practice in every day, especially if you've been sitting or traveling in a plane, in a car. Do another two, sinking down and sinking down and relax. Ease up your shoulders a little bit there. Right, let's do a few healing sounds. So easy shake, just easy shake moving around here. Healing sounds, we're going to breathe out through the mouth, which is very cleansing for the body and healing sounds are cleansing for the body. And we're going to stick with our kidney and our lungs. So the sound for the lung that we're going to do is going to be an S, so it's breathing in through the nose, Breathing out. Feel the vibration in the particular organ you're working on as you do the sound. One more. And the kidney is going to be the sound of the old steam train, a choo, eh? Choo. Choo. One more. Choo. And because we're thinking about the kidney, let's knock our heels down. You know, the kidney is responsible for the health of the bones. 
and the health of the bone marrow. Just do a little bit of bouncing. Good for osteoporosis. And relax. Right. So we'll go into some flows, a couple of flows for the lungs and a couple of flows for the kidney. And we'll start off with our one for the kidney called the fountain. So dropping forwards, dropping forwards, bending at the waist there, back of the hands together and floating your hands up, right up the kidney maroon until you get to kidney 27, I think it is over there, and then coming out and going down. So it's if as if you're drawing the water energy up, because remember, kidney is the water element, and it's just taking that chi right around your body. And although we're not touching the body, remember that your way chi, your field of immunity is out here. Your body is still extending to there. Breathing in and breathing out both of those through the nose. Feeling that you've got a continuous flow as you move, like the water would be moving down a river. You may be a slow river, you may be a faster river. Just depends what you need or how you're feeling. So if you were not very well or if you were in bed or you had a sore back, you might just do the kidney flow from your waist up and that would be fine. And if you really needed to move right through your body, then you go all the way down. So I feel as if you're bringing that chi up as you come up and you're just letting it nourish your whole body as it floats down like a waterfall. So remember the kidney is helping the lung with its water metabolism as well. So let's go into a flow for the lung. So a soaring crane. Get a nice Tai Chi posture there, Qigong posture, drop your tailbone, chin tucked in, soft shoulders, and out you go, soaring crane, flying, hands facing the ground. As you come back, your Index and middle finger, touch your thumb. So you're connecting as you come back. It's like you're connecting the lung and the large intestine ready with the first finger and the thumb there. Breathing in, breathing out, being aware of the space between your shoulder blades opening when you do that, allowing your breastbone to sink in a little bit as you come forwards. Remember the lungs are 3D, they expand forwards, they also expand backwards and sideways. You want to close your eyes a little bit and just imagine that you are soaring over maybe a great lake across the mountains. You're not having to work hard at all. You actually, your wings are coming in and out with the elastic recoil, expanding, and then the body pulls itself back in. And the energy of that allows you to expand again, making space for your heart, making space for your lungs as you open. Feel that your wings are actually extending a little bit further each time as you go out. Soft feathers. Allow yourself to fly a little bit lower now. 
your arms coming further down. This expands the lower part of the lungs and you get a lot more oxygen um, into the blood supply there because the blood supply is richer at the base of the lungs than it is at the upper part of the lungs. So this is really nice to work that extra oxygen in. It's going to go right around your body and relax. From there, we'll go straight back to the next kidney one, which is Zen circles, one hand behind your back. Ba, ba, ba. There you go. One hand in front of your forehead, but facing forwards. And again, if you're feeling strong, go all the way down to that beautiful icy clear pond as you come down and bring that beautiful, cool, clear water up across your forehead so that your mind becomes crystal clear. That's an in-breath through your nose, out-breath through your nose. In breath, out breath. Make that circle a little bit smaller, but allowing yourself to have a movement through the waist, hips coming forwards and back. It's going to be stimulating your kidneys as you do that and slowly come back towards the Dantian. So first two fingers facing forwards, the other two coming back, holding just in front of your Dantian a little bit below it there and have a sense that the chi, the external chi is coming in through those fingers through that sea of energy point where we knock on the door of life there and going all the way to the back to the kidneys. So powering up your kidneys there. Kidneys are strong. We have a strong, quiet inner peace, tranquility. Kidneys weak, we feel a little bit insecure. We can get frightened easily. So strengthening these kidneys so that we deal with life and all it throws at us. Open your arms, other hand behind, this one in front, and off you go. Hand into the pool and back to cleanse through the mind. Nourish the mind. Remember, Qigong is about nourishing life. We need all our organs to be well and healthy if we'll be able to live a good life. It doesn't matter where you are in that line of, of um, wellness. We can always do with a little bit of help. Come around. And as humans, we're made to move. And smaller circle, keeping the waist moving, feeling your hips coming backwards and forwards there. Moving those kidneys as you do this, helping them to pump, because kidneys don't have a pump, not like the heart, but they still have to do a lot of work. So when we compress, expand, compress, expand, move them around, we actually help the kidney to work coming smaller and smaller until those two fingers point forwards, just below your dantian, other hand on Ming Men, the door of life at the back. Close your eyes for a second and just imagine the chi of your forest, of your sea, if you're close to the sea, but your surroundings just buzzing in through, warming up the passage between the front of your body and your kidneys at the back. your hands and we're going to go to a lung flow but it's a lung flow that takes place in the water 
So it actually brings in the kidneys at the same time. Great bear swims in the ocean. So hands coming forwards. As your hand comes forwards, fold your hips, bend your knees, spiral all the way around, opening your tiger mouth here. That's going to fire up your lung and large intestine. Paired meridian for the lungs. Coming back. Once you've got the feel of sinking down, I want you to get the feel of your sacrum tucking in and your whole back extending as you come up. So spiraling around and tuck your tailbone in. That really, really helps you to lift your back without hurting yourself there. And very good to strengthen the lower back. So one of the things you'll find with kidney deficiency is that people will get low back pain and knee pain. And out breath, in breath, pulling in. Out breath, in breath. Feel that you are big, strong bear on his way to catch some salmon where the river comes into the sea. Great reward for you once you get there. It's going to give you lots of dopamine when you catch the salmon. Coming back. And then our last flow, pop your hands on top of each other and stretch up. Ah, so the bird stretching his wings. And then as you come down, one leg comes forwards and you stretch out to the side, bring your weight forwards onto that knee, bring your body down and look over the lake and the mountains as you fly and fly. If you can raise your heel as you're doing this. And you can feel the lightness of the bird. When we do bird flows, it's about lightness and vision, inspiration. Coming back, two hands on top of each other, stretching up. Ah, oh, drop your tailbone, tuck your chin in. Ah, oh, it's a long stretch there. Coming down as you get your waist level. Step one leg forwards, bend, bring your arms up and fly. You can put. Lift that back leg up when you fly. You're most welcome. I can't do that. One foot up and up you go again. Right up. Stretch, drop your tailbone. Long lumbar spine, long cervical spine. Down you come. Step forwards, weight onto that forward knee. Bend forwards at the level of the hip and fly. Fly five times, that's good. Coming up, back of the hands together. Last big stretch here. Oh, wiggle it a little bit. Bit more movement through your spine there. Coming down. Step forwards, weight forwards. Bend at the waist and fly. And stand up, hands over your belly. Qigong posture, close your eyes, elbows away from your body, drop your tailbone. And just notice where your breath is. Allow your breath to settle. Easy breathing into the belly.
Noticing once again as you breathe in that your belly pushes your hands away from your body and then your hands sink back towards the spine as you breathe out. And notice how we, when you breathe in, the spine lengthens, breathe out, relax. Note the effect of that. Air going into your lungs expands, through the ribs expands, into the spine. Breathing out. Feel your feet on the ground. Feel your head lifting towards the sky. Softness between your eyebrows. Oh, soft jaw. Take two deep breaths in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. <sighs> Breathing twice in your nose. Sigh. <sighs> Once more in. <sighs> and relax. Remembering that the quickest way to bring your body out of stress and anxiousness is to do a double breath in and a long exhale. Do two or three of those and it will bring your physiology back to where you'd like to have it. Thank you for coming to Qigong. It's so nice to see